Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, I'm Jason Fielder. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. Governor Whitmer vetoing a bill that would not allow the state to fine employers for first-time violations of COVID-19 rules. The governor says the legislation would cause the state to fall below minimum standards required by federal law. The bill was approved on party lines by the Republican-controlled Senate last week. Major designer brands are proving hard to find at discount stores nationwide. The problem continues to be the global supply chain issue. Discount chains like TJ Maxx, Burlington and Ross often carry the excess of those premium apparel and shoes for lower prices. Brands like Under Armour, Ralph Lauren, Carter's and Steve Madden are saying they are stepping away from those kinds of stores. Pre-pandemic brands were already planning to step away from the discount stores, saying they, they are the least profitable outlet. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says this year's October was the sixth warmest on record. The average temperature was 57 degrees in the contiguous U.S. For some states, the month set a new record. It was also the ninth wettest October on the books. Excessive rainfall in the western part of the country caused hazardous flooding. Now here is Brian with a look at your weekend forecast. Thanks very much, Jason. Looking ahead to the second half of the weekend, you know, while plenty of us have seen our first falling snow of the season at some point in the last week and a half, it looks like most of us are in for our first accumulation now as we look on ahead to Sunday. Here's the big picture. First Warren 5 Sky Tracker still has us controlled by that slow moving storm system that's been working its way across the northern tier and the Great Lakes over the last few days. Fortunately, though, that low has shifted much farther to the north of us today and is centered over Hudson Bay, and it's just these spokes of energy tracking south of it that are working their way across the state. As you can see, that's producing plenty of lake effect rain and snow showers, which will tend to diminish over the course of our Saturday evening. However, briefly, our snowmaker is beginning to track in across the Dakotas and Minnesota tonight. That's a clipper system that's going to dart in across the state, reaching us by about daybreak on Sunday, and it'll be bringing with it some steadier, moderate to at times heavy wet snow that, uh, although the ground is not necessarily completely frozen, should still manage to accumulate in some spots. So hour by hour forecast going from Saturday evening, 7 o'clock to midnight. Any clearing that briefly materializes as the winds diminish during the evening will go back to mostly cloudy skies by about midnight heading into about 4 a.m. We'll see a smattering of some rain and possible snow showers working back in on the far leading edge of that approaching clipper system. Steadier rain and snow beginning to break out on the west side of the state. By the time most of us are getting up on Sunday morning, some light to moderate snow will be falling and it'll continue at a steadier pace kind of intermittently throughout a good chunk of our Sunday midday period. For example, into about 4 p.m. You do see some moments there too where some rain may managed to mix in with the snow, but I expect a good majority of what we see on Sunday to come down as snow. That'll begin to dwindle out as we head into our Sunday evening. Skies will clear for a good majority of us as we head into Sunday night, but as you can see, even on into Monday, there will still be some lingering lake effect rain and snow showers. So as far as accumulations from this system coming in on Sunday, still looks like most of mid Michigan can expect anywhere from one to two inches of snow. Now remember, a lot of this is, of course, contingent on exactly how heavy that snow is and how much it's able to overcome the non frozen ground. We're likely to see some melting at first, but we should still get somewhere in the one to two inch range. And if we really overachieve and kind of knock that uh, ground melt out pretty quickly, some areas could conceivably go as high as about three inches, but I expect that will be much more the exception rather than the rule. For tonight, 32 year overnight low, spotting rain and snow showers, especially as we move beyond midnight. Snow likely for our Sunday with some mixing possible, but a cold day regardless. Highs only reaching the upper 30s, up to 41 on Monday with lingering rain and snow showers. And then overall, a quieter remainder of the week beyond Monday with temps back and forth between the 40s and 50s and just some smaller chances for rain and snow showers. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.